The second largest organ of the body, liver, functions to flush out harmful toxins as well as facilitates food digestion, maintains blood sugar levels and much more. Some common practices such as smoking tobacco, chewing betel nut, drinking contaminated water, excessive intake of caffeine, HCV and HBV infections gradually damage the liver. This can lead to various liver problems ranging from liver cirrhosis to liver cancer, including hepatocellular carcinoma, which is the most common type of liver cancer. Hepatocellular carcinoma is a type of primary liver cancer characterized by the uncontrolled proliferation of hepatocytes. The induction of oxidative stress in oncogenically transformed hepatocytes was analyzed as a prognostic treatment strategy for hepatocellular carcinoma. The treatment resulted in the increased expression of oxidative stress-associated proteins GSTP1 and PRX2 in treated cells. The effect of the treatment was further analyzed by the cell cycle analysis. A cell goes through four stages in a cell cycle in order to replicate. Starting from the G1 phase which is the gap between the previous mitosis and the next replication of DNA followed by the S phase in which the DNA of the cell replicates. Then the cell enters the G2 phase in which the cell prepares itself for mitosis by producing various proteins and grows rapidly. Once the cell is ready, it enters the M phase in which it divides into two daughter cells and the cycle goes on. The induction of oxidative stress arrested the cell cycle at G2 phase by the overexpression of GSTP1 and PRX2 hence halting the cell division. This led to the death of oncogenically transformed hepatocytes. Arresting the cell cycle and cell death due to the induction of oxidative stress suppresses the liver tumor proliferation, making it a promising therapeutic strategy for hepatocellular carcinoma. For a better insight, you can read the detailed research article on this study.